Hey everyone, here's your first introduction into Civil 3D. In this segment I'm going to cover a few different things. I'm going to talk about the Civil 3D ribbon. I'm going to go over some components of the tool space, particularly the Prospector tab and the Settings tab. And then I'm going to talk about your Civil 3D workspace and how to configure your interface to your liking. So let's take a look at those, shall we? Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Civil 3D and you can get to Civil 3D by going to all programs into Autodesk, find AutoCAD, Autodesk AutoCAD Civil 3D 2016, launch the metric version, all right, it's not too much different between metric and imperial, however the metric version does have various uh, metric defaults set to it, so I would recommend that particular shortcut to run, that'll open up Civil 3D and it'll start with your start box and uh, just like AutoCAD uh, your startup will look fairly similar now the one thing you should remember is that AutoCAD is uh, very functional within Civil 3D and in fact think of Civil 3D as just basic AutoCAD with some Civil 3D tools built into it. So uh, all your basic AutoCAD uh, commands and features work exactly like AutoCAD, everything within the command line, all your pull down menus, every single command you can uh, use in AutoCAD will be working in Civil 3D. Okay, so same program, just some civil engineering tool built on top of that. So uh, what I wanna do is I wanna open up an example drawing right now. I'm going to go to uh, Mio Drive, and then I'm going to follow this path here to CAD 308, and I'm going to open up this file called Project Example. So copy that one local, and then open that file up, and we will begin uh, our little introduction to Civil 3D. Now, as you can see, when your interface opens up, uh, you're going to have s uh, some different components on your sh on your drawing screen. So number one that you'll see most importantly is the tool space. This is this little box over here that uh, is tucked away in the left hand corner. Um, so there's a number of tabs associated with that tool space. One is the prospector tab, the settings tab, the survey tab, and the tool space tab. Okay, so uh, that that guy is always functional there. You can use it anytime you want. And uh, if you accidentally get rid of that tool space and make it disappear, all you need to do is go to the Home tab and click that tool space button and it'll reappear for you. Okay. Uh, one other thing is that you have a number of different interfaces that you can configure for Civil 3D. So if you want, you can make Civil 3D look exactly like AutoCAD by hitting your Workspace Switching drop-down in your top left corner right beside your Quick Access Toolbar. Click Drafting and Annotation and that'll switch it to a basic uh, AutoCAD interface so it'll look exactly like AutoCAD. Civil 3D is still running but uh, you, can, you can use that if you just want to work within AutoCAD. You also have uh, some 3D modeling tools which will bring you in a 3D perspective mode and your planning and analysis tools which is your GIS functionality so AutoCAD is uh, your base drafting engine on top of that you have a bunch of GIS tools within AutoCAD map and then on top of that you've got your Civil 3D so it's basically three programs in one so I'm gonna go back to my Civil 3D interface and uh, that'll change uh, some commands on my ribbon uh, bring up my tool space for me and uh, let's take a look at some of this stuff here that we can configure Let's take a look by starting off with the tool space. So the tool space is your go-to section for anything in Civil 3D. It's pretty important you have that up all the time. So uh, a couple of ways to work the tool space. It does take up a lot of room, but if you want, you can go ahead and uh, auto-hide it by clicking this button here. If you want to undock it, you can go ahead and grab it and uh, stretch it out any way you like. And sometimes it's nice when you're working with uh, only a single screen is to use that auto-hide mode. So it doesn't take up as much space. Uh, if you would like to redock it again, you can turn your auto hide off and then double click on that spine and it'll dock back into the corner there. So you've got uh, a couple of different tabs that are going to be used most of the time. The first one is the prospector tab. Now what you see in the prospector tab is uh, all the data that's stored within the drawing. So everything in Civil 3D is stored inside the drawing file. There's no external files to worry about at this point. Uh, but everything is inside that file. If you want to see what kind of data your 
drawing file is storing, you can go ahead and pick some of these different categories. So for instance, it's broken down into the different features. Like for instance, if I select points, I can see my itemized list of points down here along the bottom. All right, and I can also right click on a number of one of those different points and uh, delete them. I can renumber them. I can edit that particular point. I can zoom to a point if I want. I can also edit them down here as well. So I can click in these little boxes down here and edit it. Uh, if I want to look at it in more of a comfortable, comfortable view, I can right click on uh, points and click edit points and that'll bring it up into what's called a panorama window. And that brings it up into my little window here. Sometimes this is a little bit easier for editing points if you need uh, to go a little bit quicker. Um, so you have that option there as well. Uh, and this section here in your prospector tab shows you all the data that is stored within that file. So for instance, you saw my points. I've got a number of different surfaces built within this file as well. Okay, so uh, everything is stored here. Now, whenever you're working within the prospector tab, you're working with the objects themselves, the actual data themselves. So you can't change the way they look here but you can uh, delete objects, add more data if you want, edit existing data, uh, and, and that's what the Prospector tab is primarily used for. The other tab I wanted to uh, tell you guys about is the Settings tab. The Settings tab contains all your styles. So uh, styles are a way for us to symbolize or display a certain object in a certain way. So for instance, I may have points in my Prospector tab. I may want to display those points using one of the uh, style representations built in my uh, settings tab. So for instance, if I wanted to style a point a certain way to look like perhaps maybe a benchmark or a catch basin or a station point, something like that, then uh, I can pick from any of the styles listed here. Okay, so uh, there's many different styles to choose from. You can change styles at any time. You can switch the way points look, but uh, these point styles here or any of the other styles can be edited, deleted, erased, copied, uh, or manipulated in any way and you can see that it looks kind of like the uh, prospector tab where I have different features here so all my surface styles how I want my surface styles to look are listed there as well you'll also notice that you've got a couple of different uh, categories in this settings tab one is the object style for instance point style and one is a label style and each particular feature has that built into it so for instance I have the surface style and in that case that would determine how I want my contours to look something like that and then I have a label style so if I wanted to label any of the contours uh, it's broken up into two different sections the object style and how I want that object labeled and uh, that goes the same for any of these different features listed here We'll go into the uh, tool space a little bit deeper later, but uh, I want to talk about uh, the ribbon up top here. So you'll see that some of the commands are familiar to you from AutoCAD, like for instance, you've got some of your modified tools here, but most of them are Civil 3D specific. And what's neat about this is you can pick some of these commands and then select the object second, or if you want, you can pick the object first, and the uh, ribbon will change to a set of commands and features that are unique to only that object. For instance, right now I've got my default uh, ribbon set here, but if I go ahead and select a surface, for instance one of the contours, notice that the ribbon changes to show only commands that will work with uh, that particular object, the surface. The same thing goes if I decide to pick one of my uh, lot parcels. I'll pick a lot parcel and only the commands that work with the lot parcel come up on my ribbon. And as soon as I hit escape and deselect it, it goes back to my standard ribbon view. The other cool thing about Civil 3D is you have tool tips for all of your objects, whether it's AutoCAD objects or Civil 3D objects. If you hold your mouse over top of an object, like for instance a parcel, uh, it'll tell you some information about that parcel. If you have uh, some some uh, data associated with it, for instance, it'll tell us the parcel name, what site it's associated with. If I hold it over top of a surface, it'll tell me the surface. And notice uh, it'll also give me a real-time elevation as I move my cursor around that surface. And uh, that's pretty handy as well. Um, that's basically it for the AutoCAD interface. Remember, if you need to change anything, you can add in toolbars if you want. So if you want to add in a toolbar, find an empty blank space somewhere, a uh, gray area on your interface screen, right-click, and you can bring up your toolbars this way. 
Okay, and that's kind of an easier way. So if you wanted to bring up, for instance, uh, some basic uh, AutoCAD uh, toolbars, you can right click on an empty space and uh, select AutoCAD and pick, uh, for instance, Modify, and that's one of your basic Modify tools. And that toolbar will pop up uh, along the side here. So you'll see there's my my uh, my Modify tools. Um, also, uh, the other way you could do that is you could key in to bring up toolbars, which is a little bit trickier because you have to know what the name of the toolbar is. So you start with the negative space and then toolbar, type that in, hit enter, and then you have to know the name of the toolbar. Don't hit enter, otherwise every single toolbar will pop up. So if I wanted to bring up my viewports toolbar, I would just type it in. And again, you have to know the name this way, so that's a little bit trickier. So there it pops in. This is a bit easier because you can right-click on an empty space, go to your AutoCAD menus, go to your Civil 3D menus. Uh, those check marks means that they're being used in the drawing at that time. Okay, uh, And if you make any changes, you can always save your workspace by hitting that drop down. And you can either uh, save the current workspace as the same name, for instance, or save it as a new name. So you go save current, and I can overwrite my existing Civil 3D menu, or I can give it something different if I like and then that way uh, I won't have to reconfigure my menus again okay so thanks and uh, we'll see you in the next segment